Hey, this is Dan. Welcome back to Real Man Coupon. And today I'm going to show you Mrs. Pinky Lee, my binder. I've had a few requests to see my binder uh, over the past little while, so I'm going to go ahead and just bust it out again. I have another video up of my binder, but it's been a long time ago and really hasn't changed much. Um, I found a system that works, and I'm just going to go with it. So, anyway, it's just a standard binder. It's a, uh, I'm not even sure what the brand is of it. It's a Kaset uh, brand. And anyway, it's just a standard pink binder. It's got a nice strap on there to throw over your shoulder. It's got a, a zipper thing on the outside here that I never use. It's not very deep. It's only about as long as my fingers is right there. It's about that deep. So, but I never use that outside uh, outside little envelope sleeve pocket thing. I never do that. But when you open up my binder, when you open it up, it opens up into two main sections. There is a section on the left and a section on the right. Now. It has a neat little pocket right here, a little mesh pocket, and a lot of times I'll keep my smaller coupons in there, uh, sometimes register rewards, sometimes I'll throw things, you know, some register rewards right here, but a lot of times I'll throw my register rewards in there so I don't forget them, so that way I can see them inside there. And then this used to have, it used to fit, but anyway, it ended up being broken. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's broken on most of these here. Anyway, it used to fit on my little rings right here, but I just keep it tucked inside there. Anyway, it's got my Sam's Club, my... Right Aid Wellness card, my Safeway card, and I used to have my City Market card there, but uh, I don't know where my City Market card's at. Anyway, they just use a phone number for Kroger, but anyway, uh, it's got another zipper pocket right here behind these, and generally I keep a pair of scissors in there just in case. You never know when you're going to need an extra pair of scissors or maybe trim something up, or if you find an ad in a uh, flyer while you're at the store, you can always clip that out and use it there, so. On the right side, it's got a pocket up here, and the pocket up here, I don't know, I keep little miscellaneous things in there, little tabs and stuff in case any of my tabs break, I can, you know, replace my tabs on the fly. Generally, when I get my coupon or my shopping scenario all ready to go, I will take, and with these pockets right here, I will take my coupons as I'm going along. Let's say I get find this coupon right here, I'm going to use it, I'll usually just take and stick it right here in this pocket, it's not very deep, but I'll stick it in that pocket and then when I get up to the cash register, all i got to do is pull it out and I'm ready to go. So as I'm going along in the store, I'll pull, take them out and I'll set them right there until the end. Uh, this actually has my info on it and a little card in here, but I got my info turned upside down so nobody can, you know, stalk me at my home. But Anyway, so that's basically it, it's a little pocket, pockets here for pens. Pretty blubby basic and simple. Now, the two separate sides that I have right here are very distinct. On the right side is all my health and beauty uh, products. I call it HBA. And I don't know necessarily what it stands for. It's just what I call it. HBA. Health, beauty, and accessories. Um, I'll go ahead and show you most of the categories I got here when I open it up. And on my right side right here, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have all these little tabs. And on the right side, let's get over a little bit. On the right side, I have all my little tabs here, and you can see each one of these has a different uh, name written on it. And they're kind of somewhat in alphabetical order. Um, it's not necessarily an exact science, but yeah, it's fairly close. <laughs> like I say, it's a system that works for me, and I know where everything's at every single time, and I don't have to fight it every time. But at the very beginning, I have air fresheners, and I have usually a few pages of air fresheners in here. And anyway, I put them all right side up or facing to the right. So then that way when I'm in the store or when I'm looking at the center of it, I can look this way and see all my coupons and see if they're expired or not. I'm not going to see if expired, but see how much the dollar value is. When I have to fold these over, like this one here, I always fold it over so I can see, you know, the actual product and how much it is off rather than the barcode. I don't necessarily need to see that. So anyway, so air fresheners is the first one. Okay, on to the next section here. After my air fresheners, I usually keep an extra sleeve in here, and I got a few different, you know, blank sleeves throughout the throughout the binder, different spots, just in case I need them. Uh, the next section in here is actually going to be baby, and since I don't have babies at home anymore, I usually don't keep all of my coupons, but I will keep some of them, especially like for wipes and for lotions, and you know, for a few little miscellaneous things for the baby stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't have any babies, and don't plan on having any more babies. I've got five that are. You know, the youngest one is four years old, so I don't want no more babies. But anyway, the next one I got bags and wraps, and in here usually ten or not ten foils, but uh, yeah, ten foils, the bags, the plastic Ziploc baggies, and all that stuff. Uh, the next one section is going to be cats. Now, normally this would be you know A, B, C, whatever. Anyway, and I have actually cleaners back here, but anyway. I have cats. I don't have dogs. I don't have pets. I don't other than just my kitty cats, you know. So I got Roxy, Opie, and Anthony are my cats. So I take all my coupons for cats, and I'll show you these actually really interesting sleeves that I got. These sleeves right here are actually a four-pocket sleeve, 
and it's only got four sleeves in it, but I can take these big ones. And usually, for some reason, the cat coupon or the cat stuff like kitty litter, uh, treats, cat food, all of them are gigantic. And I don't know why they have to make such big coupons, but these coupons are all huge. You see how big that is compared to a standard coupon. It's just, you know, gigantic. So anyway, I found these, and they were actually really nice. My wife actually found these four, these four uh, sleeve uh, sleeves. So anyway, really, really nice on that. Uh, the next section is going to be my cleaners, and you notice all of them are either facing that way or facing, you know, right side up. But almost every single one of them on that page has to face that way. But okay, I got cleaners. And as I come through, I got lots of cleaners, lots of cleaner coupons. And on this, I might, my binder is actually super full right now. Today is the 29th. I plan on going shopping tomorrow, but a lot of these coupons actually expire, expire on the 30th. So after I get done with my shopping trip tomorrow, I'm going to have to go through and you know pull out all my expires. I went through my expires today, but I didn't get very many out. So, But tomorrow, I will. So either on the 30th, they're going to expire, or between the 3rd and the 5th of next month, they're going to expire, expire. So anyway, after the cleaners, then I get into... Deodorant is going to be my next category, and I have a couple pages of deodorant type things uh, in here. Then I go into dishwashing, and then I go from dishwashing, I go into feminine, and all the feminine stuff that came out today, I got all these in here, you know, all the, for the poise and the always and all that stuff. But I got a few pages of that, and usually in the feminine, I'll also throw in like KY jelly, and I don't, not necessarily feminine, but it's kind of don't really have a category to fit KY in, so I just throw that in the feminine category, so that way I know where it's at. So I've got quite a few feminine products here. The next one is going to be hair. And this is anything to do with hair from uh, shampoos, conditioners, to highlighters, to you know coloring, to pretty much anything to do with hair. Uh, I will put it in here. Hairsprays, uh, the L'Oreal stuff, you know. I just, I want all hair in the hair section. These are actually some that I've got in the mail and not out of the inserts for these ones here, but I got lots of hair coupons. Okay, the next section is going to be laundry, and I have all my laundry coupons, and I want to show you the, the most awesome coupon ever. Not. Where's that? Did I throw it away when I was so pissed off? I might have. No, I didn't. How's that for a coupon? Thanks a lot, Tide. Big freaking whoop. You send a 25 cent off coupon for something that costs 8 to 9 or $10? Ooh, boy. That's a dandy there. I don't think I've ever used one of these coupons because it's always a joke. I can go with all, I can go with an alternate product and save a heck of a lot more than I do with those 25 cent off coupons. Those actually, they kind of piss me off. They upset. And sorry to be, you know, blunt, but I do not like the 25 cent off coupons. They're a joke. If, you, if you're talking about a dollar product, okay, I get it. We're talking a $10 product and you're getting 50 cents off it, even if your store doubles. Big whoop. Anyway, get off of that subject. Anyway, I've got a couple extra blank sleeves here, and this is another one of those four-sleeved ones, you know, because every once in a while we'll get laundry uh, coupons that are pretty good size. Then I jump into my makeup. I've got lots of makeup, and I didn't used to keep any of my makeup coupons. I used to pretty much just toss them, but with my little girls coming up and getting into that age where they're really liking to, you know, experiment with the different makeups, I've been starting to keep all of them and get a lot more of them. So I uh, put fingernail polish and anything to do with makeup, makeup, makeup remover, like I say, all everything to do with makeup. All right, next one is going to be paper products, and this is going to be where all my uh, like laundry or not laundry, toilet paper, my paper towels, all that stuff, napkins, anything to do with paper goes in this section here. Okay, paper paper plates even going here, paper plates and whatever. All right, next one is going to be shaving items, and this is anything and everything to do with shaving. Hi, Opie. Hi, Kitty. Anyway, this is all my shaving stuff in this section. You know, a couple extra sleeves here. Okay, and then I get into my skin. Now this one's kind of a vague product, but it's not just like lotion and stuff. It's anything to do with skin that is not soap. Um, I have like uh, like skin care, like age, age renovating or whatever you call it, age defying stuff. Um, uh, uh, acne. I put like acne stuff, like oxy. Yeah, oxy right there. Oxy products and stuff like that in here. Um, suntan, the like the like copper tone sunscreen, the actual tanning stuff, I'll put that in my skin stuff as well. So anyway, got lots of stuff in the skin, all kinds of good stuff in there. Okay, and then the next section is going to be my soap section, and that is here, and that is all my body washes and soaps, which includes hand soaps, uh, the automatic soap dispensers, 
like you can see there, uh, and just like regular body wash and stuff. And sometimes they'll have these combinations that can be either for body wash or deodorant. And sometimes I'll put them in deodorant, sometimes I'll put them in body wash. I just, I don't know, whatever I'm feeling that day, they kind of go in, you know, back and forth. Uh, next section is going to be my teeth. And I know I could have called it dental or something else, but teeth. Anyway, so this is all my, my, my teeth stuff. Tooth, teeth is. Anyway, so I got lots and lots of teeth coupons. A lot of like uh, uh, toothpaste, toothbrushes, mouthwash, fix it in, polygrip, all that stuff. I keep all of that. And very back in the very back back here, I have two pages back here of just miscellaneous whatever coupons. And these are the, the four sleeve ones here again. I got batteries on this one, scotch tape, batteries, I got bras, I got. I don't even know. It's just all weird, whatever, random stuff that I don't know where else to put any of it. So, anyway, that's where I put that section on this back one over here. So, that is all my HBA on that side. Health, beauty, and accessories. Okay, on to my left side, which I have my left side actually broken up into two different categories. I'll go ahead and go to the very beginning of this back here. And in the back of this binder here, it's actually got another couple sleeves back in here. I don't use them, except for that one. I used to keep my receipts and you can see some old receipts back in there but I haven't kept receipts anyway for a long long time but now in this section here my very first section is going to be my grocery items this uh, section from here back to here is all grocery and I'll go through the categories on this and with groceries it gets kind of vague and because you have so many different types of groceries you have so many different varieties uh, between like frozen entrees prepared sides and sometimes you just don't know where to put them so I kind of consolidated a few just to make it a little bit easier. But let's go ahead and get started on this. This is my grocery items. Now my first section, like I said, this is in alphabetical order as well. My first section here is gonna be baking. So anything and everything to do with baking from salts to oils to uh, cupcake mixes, cake mixes, uh, organic light, what is that? Amber, agave, nectar, whatever. I mean, anything and everything to do with baking, I put in this first section up in here, which includes like the crescent rolls from Pillsbury, Anything Bisquick, all this stuff that's considered baking type materials is what I put up in here. So now that is the first section. The next section is going to be the bars. Now this is any type of bars, like the Nutri-Grain bars, Special K bars, um, just like a lot of the protein, the power bars. I'll put all, all the bars in this section here. I like I say, any type and every type of bars. Okay, the next section, which is pretty good size, is going to be my beverages section. Now this is anything and everything that can be that you can drink. So anything that's, that's basically considered like a liquid that you would that you would normally drink, not add to something, but to drink. I well, take that back. To add to something, you would too, because like I have coffee made creamers, I put usually in the beverages section. So anyway, we got Starbucks type stuff, coffee. I mean, pretty much every kind of beverage imaginable. All these Pepsi coupons came out today. Those are really nice. And like I say, I got lots and lots of beverages. Okay, next section is going to be bread. Now I keep all my bread coupons in here, if that's not a bread coupon, it's in the bread section. Hmm. Ponderous. Okay, anyway, that's bread section, and I got a few things of different types of bread. What the Friday, I got a lot of drink ones in my bread section. I'm going to have to come back and fix that, see? Even I'm not perfect. Well, kind of. Anyway, the next section is going to be my canned section. Now this is anything that comes in a can, and I actually put the little dull fruit cups in here, and even though they're in plastic uh, cups or whatever, I put them in the canned section so I know that there's something that can be put on a shelf and stored for a long time. So pretty much all my canned stuff goes in here. Okay, on to my next section here. Now on some of my sections, I actually took in a full, a full sheet of these and I put these little things in here just white regular computer paper anyway and I kind of marked them for different things I can combine together cereal is not just cereal I include breakfast type things in there which would be cereal pop tarts toaster breakfasts and Quaker oats so anything that can be eaten like cereal type things in the morning time so anyway so there's my cereal section and then I go into my coupons and I don't have very many. I use a lot of my. I use a lot of cereal coupons. I have five kids, and man, we go through it quickly. Next one is going to be my condiments. And my condiments, I include ketchup, mustards, salad dressings, mayo, PB and J, peanut butter and jelly, and pickles. So pretty much anything and anything that could go on anything else. And I think even in the condiments section, I will sometimes put in there like. Uh, uh, what is it like ice cream toppings like caramel or chocolate if, as long as they come in like a glass jar I will sometimes put that in my condiments section 
So I got a few of these, like I say, pickles, peanut butter, uh, mustards, different things in here. Got a lot of different mustard coupons. And eh, so that's where I put all that stuff, mayonnaise and stuff. Like I say, I even got Smucker's jelly in here because those are the ones that usually come in the glass jars. So, And that, anyway, next one I'm going to go to is going to be my dairy. Now my dairy is another one of those kind of catch-alls. I include milk, eggs, cheese, ice cream, and butter. So, yeah, I know eggs could go in the cereal, could go wherever else, but anyway, I just keep track of it as in dairy. So anyway, in the dairy section, I've got quite a few coupons here. Okay, then I'm going to jump into my entrees. This is another one of those vague categories. I got microwave meals, hamburger helper, tuna helper, and then frozen entrees like lasagna, and sometimes I'll have like TV dinners. Uh, I got like these Amy's Kitchens coupons. Um, I don't know, I have just random entree type things, stuff that you can make as, a, as an entire meal, and sometimes there'll be stuff you can throw in the oven or the microwave, but anyway, that's my entree stuff, like the main course type things. Okay, the next section is going to be froze. This includes vegetables, fish sticks, tater tots, pretty much anything that's usually in a bag or whatever, sometimes, except for, except for meat, but I'll take and throw that, that way I can throw it in the freezer, so. Anyway, that's all my frozen stuff there, okay. And my next section, which is pretty self-explanatory, is meat. And this is all my meat products. If it, if it even resembles meat, it goes in this section here, which includes like your chicken, your chicken bites, to regular meat, to hot links, to beef, to chicken, to bacon, to pretty much everything goes in the meat section. So I got a lot of different meat coupons in this whole section here. Okay, now this is going to be a pasta section, and I don't usually get very many pasta coupons for some reason. I know a lot of people do, but I get a couple of pasta ones, and I'll put them in here. And generally, we can get pasta for free. Okay, now in the pizza, it's going to be pizza, bagel bites, pizza pockets, and pizza rolls. So pretty much anything revolving around the pizza thing is going to be in the pizza section. All right, now on this one, is going to be prepared sides. Now this is like the French's little, uh, what are they, French fried onions. Just anything that could prepare, be prepared side of a meal. And okay, next one is going to be salty snacks, which is like uh, popcorn, uh, potato chips, uh, nuts, anything that can you know considered a salty snack would go in that section there. So lots of lots of potato chips and stuff. All right, the next one is going to be my sauces, which include like tobacco so to tobacco Tabasco sauce, uh, like uh, spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce, ragus, paste picante sauce. Anything that's a sauce is going to go in this section here. So that's the sauce section. Okay. Now, in this one, I kind of, this is another one of those kind of vague ones. I have soup. Now, most of our soup is canned, and I could put that in my canned section that was back there at the beginning. But I liked having, I, since I got so many cute soup coupons, I wanted a soup section all by itself. So I got all my soup ones in here, and I have quite a few of them. I actually used a lot of them here recently, stocking up on soup for the, for the stockpile. Okay, the next one is going to be spice, and this is like all your McCormick spices, or just like regular spices like Mrs. Dash and all that stuff that you put in your cabinets. Okay, the next one is sweet snacks, our necessary evil, I guess. I was kind of happy this week with all of our inserts. We didn't have very many sweet snack coupons, which is actually really good. I, we, you know, because we're, we are indulgers, I guess. So when they have the sweet snacks and they come on sale and I can get them for you really cheap, I buy them. You know, I mean, with all my kids, we go through them fairly quickly, and we probably shouldn't. It's not healthy, I know, but you know, it's kind of nice that it's not seeing nearly as many sweet snack coupons. But anyway, this is anything gum, candy bars, chocolate, cookies. Uh, you know, pretty much like I say, the fruit snacks, everything and anything that could be considered sweet. Well, see, like here, there's one of the Hershey's like topping, caramel topping, but these are plastic jars, so I put these over in the sweet snack section. Okay get past the sweet snack section and this is going to be yogurt and usually it's pretty well loaded but right now it don't look, look like we have very many yogurt goes in the uh, clearance aisles a lot so we actually end up using a lot of the yogurt coupons so anyway that's it for my food section and I'll take you on to my next section okay my next section is going to be what I call medicine which could be considered kind of a catch-all once again but anyway it's different kinds of med products uh, vitamins, allergy, antacids, you know, band-aids, anything to do with medical type stuff. Email, email, email. Anyway, medicine is going to be this section. Now I have this in alphabetical as well, but I have allergy as my first tab. And then, you know, go through all my allergy medic medications. And then I have my antacids in this one, which includes like gas X and those little, uh, little things you put in your mouth. Can't remember the little strip things. 
uh, Tums, Zantac, I mean, all this stuff is that. Anyway, uh, Band-Aids is my next section. In the Band-Aids, I'd also include like first aid kits, gauze, wraps, anything like that would be considered a Band-Aid. And the next one is going to be cold and flu. And I know like some of these, like Advil, this is, but this is Advil congestion relief. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that in the cold and flu section. Alka-Seltzer, uh, Robitussin, you know, different things that are actually specific for cold and flu. You know, uh, triaminic, but these, like I said, these things are cold and cough. You know, they're definitely specific for, you know, a cold or a flu. All right, the next one is going to be my ointments. And ointment is kind of a, a catch-all, and I don't know. Actually, the halls probably should be over in a cold and cough or a cold and flu. But this ointment section is going to be everything from the creams, the, the cortisones, to eye drops, to liquid type stuff or like even paste type stuff that you would apply to anything. So a lot of stuff for eyes in here, a lot of the eye drop type stuff. But anyway, a lot of that stuff. But this is all ointments, which would be liquid stuff that you would apply to yourself in some way. Uh, Visines, you know, a lot of eye stuff in here. Like Neosporin, there's one in there. Uh, got like I say, got a lot of them in here. Okay, then I'm going to come over into my pain meds, and then pain meds is going to be kind of another catch-all. But anything and everything to do with pain relief, like Motrin, Aleve, Tylenol, Advil, pretty much anything pain pain related would go in this section. So, and we've got quite a few of them. And the next section is going to be vitamins, which you know once again that's another catch-all for me. If I don't know what it is, it's probably a vitamin. And which brings me to a question I have for you guys. But anyway, in my vitamin section, I put this in here. I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Anyway, it saved ten dollars on. Let's see if we can get to focus. On this A L L I. I don't know what it is. It's good on ninety count or one hundred twenty count Ally products. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea what it is. I should probably dig into that and figure it out. But if you guys leave a comment down below, just let me know what that Ally is. If it's a vitamin or. I'm going to assume, I have no idea what a supplement of some sort. But anyway, back to the vit this section. Vitamins is going to be anything and everything to do with vitamins, which I also have like Benefiber stuff in here, Osteobiflex, uh, the one-a-days. Uh, I even like I say, you put the Benefibers in here, down here, and I put those in that section. And back here in the back, I have a little miscellaneous section for like breathe right strips. I don't know where that would go, so it goes in miscellaneous. Catch all. Then I have another empty one back here. So. Anyway, guys, that is my binder. Uh, I, like I said, I had a few requests to see my binder and to see how I organize it and to actually break it down into, you know, each section of where I have everything. And that's it. And like I say, email, email, email. Anyway, like I say, this is this is my baby. This is my my girl. She goes with me everywhere. And anyway, everybody has to have a name for their binder. And my binder's name is Pinky Leaf. So we love the movie Leaf. Move, love the movie Grease. And on Greece, she goes from, from you to me, Pinky Lee. Anyway, since she's pink, she is named Pinky Lee. And she's our baby. She's been she's been through a rough time, but she is holding up really, really well. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. Appreciate you watching. Any comments, suggestions, thoughts, you know, anything, throw it down below. Let me know what's happening with you guys. And also, if you know about that ally stuff, let me know what that is. Because I honestly have no idea. So that's it for today. Peace.